Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a haul video for the stuff I got at the end of 2022. Now, interestingly enough, one of the packages from Right Stuff was lost in the mail. I waited enough. I gave it like two and a half weeks or something like that, and it wasn't showing up. So I hit up the route insurance service or whatever it's called, and they were quick to act and send me a replacement order. However, by the time they got to the replacement order, some of the items were out of stock. So I had to wait a long while hence why you're seeing this haul video after december i'm super excited to crack open the box and show you all the cool stuff that i got first one here from seven seas is yakuza reincarnation volume for this was one of my favorite reads of 2022. Super excited to have this. I'm not up to date, unfortunately. I'm like two volumes behind on this, but I will try and read this as quick as possible because I do want to keep the momentum going with this story. It's a lot of fun and I really, really enjoy the artwork. It's basically a uh, former Yakuza reincarnated as a warrior princess in an alternate dimension. It's wacky, I know, but it's a lot of fun. Next up is Kemono Jihen Volume 3 from Seven Seas Entertainment. The story continues and we have the introduction of Kon, the fox spirit yokai, if you will. And of course, the main trio of Kusaka, Akira, and Shiki as they continue working under Inugami at the Tokyo Investigations Office. This one's a lot of fun. I love the artwork on this. Highly recommend it. Now I gotta be careful with what I show here. Yes, I am, I guess, some sort of degenerate, according to some people, but I consider this to be one of the funniest, raunchiest manga that I own, and it is Interspecies Reviewers. Here is volume seven, and uh, yes, I know exactly what you're thinking. No, I don't care. This is actually pretty awesome and pretty hilarious. And fortunately, I don't think I'm showing you any not safe for work panels, and everything's good to go here. It has lovely artwork, and there is a ton of dialogue. That's part of the humor of the series that, of course, they're reviewers. And I review stuff on YouTube, so in some weird shape or form, I can sort of relate. Of course, the subject matter is different, but you catch my drift. Next up is Bakemonogatari Volume 8. Now I have to confess, I am not up to date with these purchases and that's why this is the last one for a while. And that's sort of a resolution that's going to continue through 2023. I don't want to just buy things because it's part of a series that I'm reading and I never get to it. I'd rather read up until what I have and then pick up the rest of the volumes. Bakemonogatari looks fantastic. I love the artwork on this. The presentation is pretty cool. And of course, the lovely, lovely spines. They all look super cool on the shelf with the different colored spines. This one came out a while ago. Here is Frieden Beyond Journey's End Volume 6. Actually, a couple months ago as of this video, and similar to Bakemonogatari, I decided to put a stop on getting uh, releases like this. I'd rather catch up and then look for more volumes. This looks lovely as usual with the series. Fantastic character designs and wonderful backdrops. Super excited to get this volume of Frieden. Call of the Night, Volume 10. This was one of my favorite anime of 2022, and the manga is so awesome. I really love it. I don't know why, but I fell in love with the Call of the Night story. I really enjoyed it, and I'm currently working on a video for you guys about it. But here is Volume 10. Now, I can't flip through it. I haven't read it yet, and I don't want to spoil myself with the story, uh, but it looks lovely as always. Super stylized and awesome. Uh, yeah excited to continue my journey with that as well. Black Lagoon Volume 6, Volume 7, Volume 8, and Volume 9. And this, finally, folks, completes my set of Black Lagoon. Oh, obviously, it's still ongoing, but I have all the volumes. And who would have thunk, before 2022, this was sort of a mini whale for a lot of people out there, myself included. I really loved the anime and wanted to own the original source material. However, it had been long out of print and super expensive on websites like eBay. I, I have to give a, a shout out to a friend. She got me uh, two, was it three? Three of the volumes. And then soon after volume one came back in stock and volume 12 uh, released back in August. So that was five and now here we are with volumes six through nine completing the set super excited to dive into black lagoon and who knows maybe i'll uh, do a little retrospective video about this wonderful manga 
from Rumiko Takahashi is Maison Ikoku. Now this is the final volume or the perfect editions, I guess they're called, of the series. I, I, I don't want to scroll through it because I'm reading this series for the first time, but excited to have another series completed from a master creator like Takahashi. Can't wait. Looks awesome. Now this one came out a while ago. I think it was for early October, 2022. And I just, honestly, at first I forgot, but then when I remembered back in November, I was like, it's all right. It's a Junji Ito book. You, you kind of know what you're getting into. So yeah, picked up Black Paradox. Gonna check this out and eventually talk about it. I tend to cover most of Junji Ito on this channel, so I'm gonna do that eventually. Vagabond Volume 10. Now, similar to Black Lagoon, a lot of the Vagabond books, the Viz Big Editions, uh, came back in stock after a long, long time, and I've been slowly getting them. Now, unlike Black Lagoon, I don't have everything here. I could only get Volume 10 as of this video. I'm missing two, four, seven, eight, I think. Something like that. I'm missing four volumes, basically. Sailor Moon, the Naoko Takeuchi Collection Edition. This is volume two. This is super cool. I've been a fan of Sailor Moon for years, but I've never read the original source material. I've only known Sailor Moon through the anime, like many of us out there. So I am excited to get the smaller editions and read the story for the first time. Now, I'm a little disappointed that we still don't have volume four, I think. That we still don't have a release date. I'm pretty sure it's gonna come out this year, but it was pulled back for some reason and uh we've been waiting for that <sighs> oh boy I, I can never say this name right i'm sorry i'm gonna probably offend uh, some people with my pronunciation here uh d world girlder oh my god <laughs> D. Word Gelder, Volume 3 finally came out. This has been a long anticipated release. It had been uh, delayed, I think, three or four times, and it finally arrived December of 2022. I've been hearing about the delays for this book even before I decided to pick up uh, Volumes 1 and 2. Looks fantastic. I love the art and I love the uh, larger uh, trim size for these epic stories. And of course, I got to show you the spines looking pretty nice on the shelf as well. Alita Last Order Omnibus. Here we have volume three of that. This is another series that I'm slowly getting with each order. I'd like to add one of the books in there. Last year I put out a video of me reading Battle Angel Alita for the first time and my impressions and review of the series and I was super excited but disappointed with the cliffhanger ending and now I get to read this. I think with three omnibus editions I can go ahead and start reading. I should be grabbing the rest of the volumes soon-ish so I'm excited for that as well. I don't know what's happening in this so I'm not paying attention to what I'm scrolling here through the pages but it looks pretty freaking awesome can't wait uh, to find out more about this and to finish off the haul here rent a girlfriend volume 15 and 16 uh, yeah yeah I know what you're probably thinking but I guess I'll say this is sort of my rom-com guilty pleasure I like the series I like these characters yes it runs on for too long but I don't know man I'd, uh, I'd like to suspend my disbelief and enjoy the silly fantasy ride of these crazy characters you know Let's move on to some anime. I've been wanting to check out Den no Coil, which has been sold to me as like Stand By Me meets freaking Ghost in the Shell. And I couldn't pass that up. I believe it was going for 50 bucks or something like that, because it's a full set of 24 episodes, I think. And around the time I decided to grab it or at least put it on my wish list on Right Stuff, it happened to be featured on the deals, the mega deals of the day or something like that during Christmas. And it was selling for a whopping $4. That is insane. So you know that I had to make an impromptu order and grab that bad boy with a couple of other volumes that were featured here. Project Echo 3, Cinderella Rhapsody, one more and we're done with Project Echo. I've only seen the first film, the first OVA, so I'm excited to watch all four uh, back to back. Super cool. The Deer King by G Kids. I got a sweet deal on this Blu-ray. I got it for cheap and I'm super excited to check out the movie. This was one of my most anticipated ones from last year. Finally get to sit down and watch this film and talk about it. Now for one of the orders I needed to get that extra dollar to qualify for the free shipping. So I did one of those dollar blind items that uh, Rice Stuff has and it was 
the DVD of Gunbuster 2. Pretty random to get a DVD in 2023, but here we are. Last but not least, my favorite anime release of 2021, finally out on Blu-ray. This is a must own. I highly recommend you guys check this out. The Heike Story or the Heike Monogatari, the tale of the Heike clan, which is a famous Japanese story about the tragic fall of this clan back in the Warring States era and all that stuff. Highly recommend it. This is a wonderful reimagining of that beautifully told. Science Saru just knocked it out of the park. Super recommended. I cannot say that enough. Get the Heike story. You won't regret it. So that's going to be it. The first haul of 2023. Thank you everybody for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. You guys are great. We've been passing small milestones and I'm super excited about that. So that's going to be it for now. Thank you so much. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.